Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we're going to learn how to change or add filament to your FDM printer. This is a relatively easy process, but beginners may be confused when doing it for the first time. In order to get started, you only need two things. You need the filament you want to add and a pair of wire cutters. The first step is going to be to turn on your 3D printer. Some power switches are in the front or in the back or even on the side, but for my CR10, the power switch is on the back of the machine. Once you power it on, give it a few seconds to boot up until you see this screen, which is the main menu screen. Now we're going to use this knob on the side. You can rotate the knob clockwise or counterclockwise and then push in to select. To begin, we're going to push in on the knob and go to prepare and then move axis and then move Z axis. This will move the extruder upwards off the bed so it doesn't clog up when filament starts oozing out. Now, once you select move Z axis, we're going to select move 10 millimeters and we're going to go and turn the knob until we reach somewhere around 150. It doesn't have to be exactly 150, but just make sure it does get a height above the print bed. Once the extruder finishes moving, we're going to go to move axis and we're going to go up to prepare. Now we're going to scroll down until we see preheat PLA and preheat ABS. You're going to select what material you're trying to add. In my case, I'm going to add PLA, so I'm going to select the preheat PLA option. Once it opens up, you're going to see three settings. You're going to see preheat PLA, preheat PLA end, and preheat PLA bed. Now, if you do preheat PLA, it's going to heat up both the nozzle and the print bed. If you do PLA end, that's going to preheat just the print nozzle. And if you do the bed, it's going to preheat the printer bed. When changing filament, you only need to preheat the nozzle, so select preheat PLA end, which will preheat the nozzle up to PLA melting temperature. Once you select that option, you're going to see two numbers on the leftmost icon, which is the nozzle temperature. The top number is going to be the optimal temperature that the printer is trying to reach, while the bottom is the current temperature of the nozzle. So we're going to wait until that bottom number reaches that top number. While the nozzle is preheating, we're going to move on to the next step. If you had a filament spool installed already before, then we're going to have to remove it. You should always add new filament once the spool is getting low. Do not wait for the entire filament to run out of the spool. Always remove it whenever there's still some left on the spool itself, or else it's going to give you more troubles and hassles later on. Whenever removing your old spool, you should always cut the filament at roughly 5 inches away from the button tube entrance. It is very important that if you're going to reuse this spool, like let's say you just wanted to switch colors or are using a different material for another print, you have to hold tension on the spool itself. Do not let go whenever you cut the actual spool. So hold one side and then cut the filament and hold tension on the actual spool itself because if you let that go, it's going to unwrap, and it's going to tangle and it's going to give you so many issues and this spool is effectively going to become useless. The good thing about most spools nowadays is that they do have some holes in them in which you can feed the filament through and basically lock them in place so they don't untangle whenever you're not using them. Once the printer has heated up and you remove the old filament spool, we have to remove the remaining filament that's still inside the Bowden tube and the extruder. Now this filament, like I said, is in this tube that you see that leads all the way down to the extruder. In order to remove this filament, we're going to go to the top of the printer and we're going to squeeze these two levers that are basically holding the filament in place. With the other hand, we're going to grab the filament and we're going to push it into the printer. And just give it a little push, it's not going to go too far. Once you push in the filament, now you're going to pull out the filament with a long yank. This may take a while, but just you know, keep pulling out until the full filament is out. Here you can see the entire process. So, like I said, you're going to squeeze the lever, and you're going to push in the filament just slightly. Then, after a while, you're going to keep holding those levers and then pull out the entire filament that's still inside. It should come out in a long, continuous piece. Next, we're going to get our new filament spool ready. When you open the box for the first time, you should see your spool in a watertight plastic wrap. The plastic wrap will allow the spool to keep out water as well as prevent the spool from tangling. In order to open it up, just make a hole in the middle and peel away the plastic wrap. 
Upon removing the plastic wrap, you should notice that the free end of the filament spool is going to be looped through one of the holes on the actual spool itself. As previously mentioned, whenever you do free this end, keep tension on the filament so that the spool does not tangle up. Because if it tangles up, your spool could be ruined. The next step is going to be to cut the free end of the spool at a 45 degree angle such that it can insert a lot easier than if it weren't cut. Just anywhere near the end, just cut at a 45 degree angle to get a sharp filament corner. The next step is to place the spool on the spool holder. Now, some printers have it at the very top of the printer and some have it to the side, but wherever it is, just place it such that the filament spool can roll. So our goal as of now is to make this filament go in through this hole right there and then through that hole we're going to squeeze these two uh, levers right here such that the filament can go in there in between both of these gears and then it'll go inside all the way through the Bowden tube until it reaches all the way down here to this extruder. So it should be simple enough. Like I said, keep the tension. I had mine locked for now, so don't worry about that. Uh, we're gonna fill it in through this hole. Now you may not have this white thing. I printed this white uh, kind of, uh, I guess, spool guider. So uh, you can, if you don't have that, it's fine. Fill it in through the first hole, hold the gears, and try to fit in through the second hole. The second hole might be a little bit trickier, but uh, take your time and try to fit it in there. And then, all you have to do is hold the gears, keep holding them, and keep uh, feeding filament until you feel that there's a resistance. Like right now, I can't feel anything else. I can't push any further. Don't try too hard. Just leave it like that for now. If everything was done correctly after a few seconds, you should, you should see that the uh, nozzle is kind of drooping filament and that's a good sign if your nozzle was not a drooping filament before I recommend you squeeze the lever once again and try to push a little further you don't have to have too much oozing out especially if you are printing at a lower temperature for your material but uh, if you're above 190 make sure there was a little bit of filament uh, uh, oozing out of the actual nozzle and before you turn off the printer, make sure you cool down because right now it's still at a very high temperature. So you're going to click on the knob, go to prepare, and scroll all the way down until you see the cool down function. Just press on that. And the new goal for the extruder is 0 degrees Celsius. As you can see, the nozzle is already going down in temperature. The nozzle cools down and heats up pretty quickly, so it shouldn't be too long. And once that reaches the appropriate temperature, um, maybe like 25 degrees Celsius, you can turn your printer off because you are officially done changing filament. Most Creality printers have a hidden option called Change Filament. In order to access this option, you do have to preheat your nozzle. If you don't know how to do that, please go back to part 1 and review all fundamentals as you'll need those for this part of the video. You will also have to remove the old filament spool but not the filament inside the printer as this feature will do it for you automatically. Once the nozzle is fully preheated you can go under prepare in which now you'll be able to see the change filament option. Whenever you select this option, the filament that's still inside the printer is going to be ejected through the gears mechanism. Once that finishes, you're going to have to still squeeze the levers at the very top and pull with the other hand to completely remove the filament that's inside the printer. You will then be prompted to this screen which says insert filament and press button to continue. So clearly now you're going to put on your new spool and make sure it's attached. Like I said, push it in all the way, and then go back to your screen. Now that previous prompt only stays there for a few seconds, so it may say now, press button to heat nozzle. 
So just click on it and wait for the nozzle temperature to go up to the required temperature. Once the nozzle finishes preheating once again, you'll be able to see the old prompt that says insert filament and press button to continue. Simply press on the knob once more and then the printer will automatically start extruding filament. This is a neat feature that the universal method does not do, which will save you from having to print something in order to verify you did do this process correctly. After a few seconds, the extruder will stop extruding filament, and you can simply just remove that filament with your hand. Do not worry, it's not hot, it's completely room temperature. Just be careful to not touch the nozzle. After removing the extruded filament, you can go back to the printer and you'll see two options. You can either resume print or extrude more. If you're satisfied with the extrusion, just click on resume print. But if you are not satisfied, let's say that you switched colors and you still see some of the older color, just extrude a little bit more to make sure you've cleared out all the old filament. And finally, the last step is going to be to cool down your printer. Like before, you're going to go to prepare and scroll all the way down to cool down and let that nozzle get back to room temperature before you turn off your printer. And there you have it, you have successfully changed the filament on your Creality printer.